Can you talk a little bit about maybe what your core values are and how those yeah. show up, what that looks like in your leadership style? Um, definitely. So in transparency, I've had to uh, kind of reflect on my core values, um, definitely during the pandemic, um, but before the pandemic as well, when I was going through the interviewing process, like I just had to take a step back to say, okay, who am I professionally and who am I? I'm, I'm, I think I'm more aware of who I am personally, but how is that reflected in my profession? Um, and I've just readjusted them in education. You know, we, we love an acronym. Um, so uh, <laughs> for mine, it's PACE, P-A-C-E. So I root and ground everything I do in passion and authenticity in competency and in excellence. So just really briefly, passion, if I'm not connected or if I'm not passionate about the work that I'm doing, if I feel that I'm not making a difference, then I won't be doing that work long. And at this stage in my life, at this age of my life, I've realized that I've made you know, some mistakes um, in terms of you know, picking certain jobs, thinking that it would you know, move me into this circle or you know, do this for me or elevate me in this way. But at the end of the day, I was not connected to the work and I was not, I was, was not connected to the people. So if I don't have the passion for the work, then I will, um, I will always just kind of uh, fizzle out. Um, authenticity for me is very, very important. I try to bring as much of myself, um, my authentic self as I can into my work. One example of that is I'm a guy who loves to laugh. Um, I can't stand to sit in meetings that everyone is just, you know, business, business, business. We can, we can be business, business, but if someone makes a joke like you all, it's okay. We, we can laugh. <laughs> you can smile. <laughs> um, so I try to be, uh, bring my authentic self there. Part of that level of authenticity is having those crucial conversations with teachers and just being transparent with them in the, with having those crucial conversations. I've had to have a couple actually over the past few weeks. And it goes back to what we were talking about earlier, valuing the person, valuing the human being that's in front of me. So just being authentic to myself and to who I am as a person um, outside of work. Uh, competency, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. You have to know the work in order to be able to do the work. And even if you don't know everything, at least know who to talk to or know what resources to get. So that way you're able to better do your job. Um, I don't expect my principal even now or any of my team members to know everything about um, the job that we do. But I do expect you to know enough and to have enough wherewithal to be like, hey, I don't know this, but you know this. How can we partner and collaborate to move the needle into in the direction that we need to go? So definitely knowing the work that I need to do. And if there's something I find myself deficient in, I'm researching, I'm reading, um, everyone's best friend is Google. I'm Googling. I'm asking other um, friends of mine who most of them, unfortunately, are um, administrators as well. Uh, so we cry. So we cry together. Right. Um, but I ask them. I, I actually I'm a nerd. I do a lot of research on with um, on schools. I look at their websites. I look at a lot of their demographic data um, across the city of Houston. So I just try to find or gain as much knowledge as I can. And then the last one would be excellence. If you're going to do something, do it well. If you're not going to do it well, then don't do it at all. So I try to bring a level of excellence, a mindset of excellence um, with anything that I do, whether it's a front facing event to our community, or even if it's something as simple as presenting something to um, my students at my school. Like I try to find a way to make it excellent and show them that this is the quality that I'm willing to bring to you. And so I need your behavior. I need your um, academic success to also reflect that as well.